For the past four years, I've been buying and selling football shirts. And in today's video, I'm taking you guys through my whole personal collection, the jerseys that I wear. Additionally, stay right to the end, because I'm giving someone this jersey for absolutely free. Let's go. For those who don't actually know, I actually own a football jersey business. First street, as you can see on the screen right now. I've been doing this for business for about four years. I've been putting a few shirts aside for my personal collection and some absolutely heaters have been coming in through the doors all the time. But if you guys want to treat yourself and buy some shirt from my collection, just because I'm not making any money from YouTube just yet, there's a link in the description down below. Use the code SAVE10 at checkout to save yourself 10% off your next order. But yeah, stay to the end of the video because someone will be going home with this jersey for absolutely free. Enjoy. All right guys, as you can see right behind me right now, we have all my personal collection here. Um, I'm gonna take you through them all right now. I've got quite a few gems that I wear, quite a few that I don't wear, a few collected pieces here. But yeah, Rafa Gucci, let's get straight into it. All right, so I've kind of divided them all into sections. So we've got international, then we've got your Premier League, pretty small section there, because I'm only really gonna wear the United shirts. Then we've got your League One, uh, Manchester, Paris, and Marseille. Then we have La Liga, so basically your Barcelona, your Madrid, your Atleticos. Then we have the A League, we've only got three shirts in the A League there. Uh, we've got your Serie A, and then you've got kind of like your other league, which I only have one or two of. These are all my personal items here. There's a few that's not here, I couldn't find them, but I have so many shirts. You're going to see in this video that there's hundreds of shirts that go through. But remember to stay right to the end because I am giving someone this jersey for absolutely free. Let's go. We're going to start from left to right here, so I'm going to start with the ones that I don't really have too many of from that league. Or the ones that aren't really branded, they're kind of more branded jerseys than they are uh, club jerseys. So the first one on the very far left here, what do we have? We have the FC Slazerberg jersey. Uh, this is a player edition one, uh, still with the tags on. Yeah, quite a nice one. I haven't worn one yet, obviously, being brand new. And there's an XL, so it's going to be too big for me regardless. I just do like the black and red colorway here. Um, with a Red Bull sponsor, but I don't mind a bit of a bit of a nice sponsor on the front, but it's very simple, very plain jersey. Definitely one of the cool ones I have in the collection. Um, I don't see these ones around too often in Australia, but yeah, this is definitely something I do like keeping in my collection for the time being. On to the next one now. We have a jersey which I got. Oh, I got this one two years ago now, maybe one year ago. It is the Knocked at Night um, limited edition drop. Kind of like kind of football jersey, um, it's a size large. As you can tell, I have well and truly enjoyed wearing this one. I still do wear it to this day, uh, with a nice Nocta branding on the back there. And you can see kind of the front Nocta branding at the front there. Funny story about this one, I did originally buy this one to resell on, um, but I kind of, when it arrived in the post, I opened it, kind of liked how it looked, and never really let go of it. So, on to the next one now, we have a, oh, what's this one? All right, so this one is the Nike Football Club release jersey. So Nike released a few of these, uh, probably about 2016 to 18. Uh, a few different colorways, more of the Nike Club FC, just a jersey. Uh, I actually thrifted this one a long time ago uh, when I was thrifting regularly. Uh, probably paid about six bucks for it, so it's not a bad little jersey there. I don't wear this one too often anymore. I just don't like the V collar. The V goes too far down on it. Uh, so this will be one I, will, I probably will part ways with very soon. Um, it is a very nice jersey, like the black on black, with a nice little uh, the red around the logo there. It gives me MLS sort of vibes and on the back. There's nothing on the back, just a nice play with the white strip at the top there. For a jersey, I probably rate it about a 5 out of 10. Like it's nice, I'm just not a really big fan of the V-neck. On to the next one now, we kind of have a bit of the first banger of the collection. A teeny tiny uh, Boca Juniors jersey. This is size extra large. Um, this was from the 2005 06 season with. Palermo on the back as well, number nine, um, great player. The T90 jerseys, we can all agree that we one of the best areas of football jerseys itself. We're going into more of the English territory here. We've got a Rangers training top. Uh, so this is on the old 90s tag there, the, you can see the white tag. Uh, Rangers and football club on the front. I'm a United fan, so I don't wear this one too often. Definitely not in public, and it's also too extra large. This one's like a dress, I mean, it's massive, but I have worn it a few times. I really love the back Nike look. Back Nike look. 
Um, this gives you that proper 90s vibe. And uh, it's just a nice, nice jersey. Pretty heavy, it's definitely a 90s one. Uh, all right, so the next jersey on the list is this Color Color jersey with the old school Puma logo on the front as well. Old 90s Puma tag. I don't know exactly what year this is from, but from the Chile's League, number 14 on the back as well. I'm gonna need help in the comments to identify what year is exactly from. I did my research, I couldn't really find it at all, but it's, uh, yeah, I've only had it for about a month and a half now, two months, I just couldn't part ways, but it's just a beautiful looking jersey. Uh, I'm not a Colo Colo fan at all, but they have some beautiful jerseys, as you can see on the screen right now. Yeah, someone in the comments, let me know where this is from. So starting off, we have the 2020-2021 Inter, uh, Inter Milan fourth jersey. Um, this is a crazy looking jersey. There's so much going on in this one. I love the sponsor going up. Um, yeah, there's just there's just so much to look at for this jersey. Even on the back, obviously no number on the back, but it's a, it's a crazy design for a football shirt. It's definitely more of a 90s look to it, but being only four years old. Yeah, it came in and I just, I saw it straight away. I was like, I have to just try it on. I've only worn it a handful of times. It's just not, it's hard to wear, but like, um, sort of a nice outfit or color scene. But this jersey, I would definitely give it a seven or an eight out of 10. It's just out there, it's just a crazy shirt. But yeah, this is a pretty cool one to have in the collection. I don't think we will be buying those of it anytime soon. All right, on to the next two jerseys here. We have the 1996-97 and the 1997-98 shirts from Inter Milan as well. This one is very much worn in. I have destroyed this one. I I got this one over a, week, a year ago, two years ago now, and I've worn it to death. You can see the collar's breaking there now. Um, the tag's all gone up. Even this, it's been through so many washes. Just a little shimmer at the front there. This one is a beautiful jersey, blue and black. You can't really go wrong with those sort of colors. On the black as well, as you can see on the in, I kind of like all the imprints there. All the text going up the stripes. This one is a beautiful jersey. I have very much worn it. Given it, I have very much given it its time and I've worn it quite a bit. And then this one, same thing, but I've kind of looked after it a bit more. Um, you can kind of see the sponsors still a really good nick there. But Umbro and the Inter down there. Yeah, again, another beautiful design. This one's a size large, actually fits me better than the other one. I bought one of these shirts in the 99.99% impossible goals, or angle goals to score video. Still, to this day, my favorite video to ever be recorded on this channel. But yeah, I have one of these two shirts, and that video is now the most viewed video on the channel, so thank you so much for you guys for watching that video. All right, the next jersey is a, a special one to me. This was given to me as a gift from one of my mates in Thailand. I went to Thailand recently on a holiday, and one of my mates met up with me there, and he gifted me this jersey. Uh, it is slightly stained, but yeah, I'm never gonna part with this one. Um, I feel like when you get gifts or jerseys as a gift, you can't just part with them like that. Um, sleeves are beautifully long, uh, it's just very nice. Juventus can't really go wrong with the black and white stripes. Colors perfect. Yeah, very, very nice. Del Piero era. Uh, this is definitely a gem to have in the collection. All right, before we get to the next shirt, what I want you guys to do now is smash the like button down below. Can we try and hit 15 likes in this video? It will mean so much to me. Subscribe if you're new around here. We're that close to 1,000 subscribers. On to the next shirt. All right, so the next shirt's a bit closer to home for me. Being in Perth, we have the Perth Glory 1997 or 96 away jersey this is a very very expensive shirt it is also a player issue um the sleeves going a bit there i have wore on a handful of occasions uh, in a lot of the videos on the back obviously got that quit smoking sign there uh love the old school graphics old school glory shirts uh, if you don't know perth glory is in the a league in australia it's, they're not one of the best teams but they're they're going to be like one of the in my heart one of the best teams and they always will be uh, definitely a team i definitely support uh, made in Australia as well, you don't really see that too often at all. Yeah, this one with the old school power, 90s power race sponsor on the front there. This one's probably worth, probably one of the most expensive shirts in my collection. Uh, but this is definitely a gem, and you can sort of see the kangaroos going down the back. Um, yeah, a wicked shirt to have in the collection. And or anyone who's a Perth Glory fan, or anyone who's an A-League fan for that, that, for that matter, would know how valuable and how much this shirt would actually mean to anyone. Yeah, definitely a wicked shirt, and I'm never gonna be selling this one for a long time. Well, never a long time. I don't think I'm gonna let go of this shirt anytime soon. Another special shirt, a bit close to home, is this Perth Glory Western QBE Kappa jersey. It's a sample. So this jersey was created when I bought it from, oh, who did I buy? 
I bought it from another seller, uh, probably about three years ago now. When these, a uh, bit of a story behind it, when these shirts were made, uh, they were made with free samples. Um, so the free samples were made just before they mass produced the shirts. This was a 98 from memory, 97. Um, on the back of it, I've got number 10. Chris Mike, the chicken tree sponsor. Yeah, this shirt is a gem as well for all you A-League fans out there. There's no price tag on this one because it wasn't even a sample. The, the value could be through the roof or it could just be a few hundred dollars. I just generally don't know. Um, yeah, this shirt is a wicked shirt. Hard, very hard to come by. We've only been a one of three. Um, and don't, I know who has the other two and you will never let go of them. So I will never let go of this one until, we, until I can get hold of those ones. Uh, this is definitely a wicked shirt to have. Um, very, very cool piece. I don't know the value of it, and I have worn it a handful of times. It is wicked. It's just the orange on the collar, kind of the only thing that throws me off, but definitely a cool shirt to have for the collection. On to another one now. This is more of a one I like to do my running in, play football in. It's a long sleeve Bridgman Royal jersey. Um, nothing special to it, it's just like the black and orange. Uh, very plain. I, obviously, I like my long sleeves. I do like wearing this one going for runs, going for jogs, playing football at night. It's definitely a one I wear to train that sort of stuff. Cool shirt to have, and you can never really go wrong, go wrong with the long sleeves. Damn, I really can't speak today. All right, moving on to the La Liga section now. We have some cool shirts in this one. Get ready, they're gonna be good. Let's go. So we have the first shirt we have is this pink, bright pink player spec Barcelona shirt. Uh, you can kind of see the player spec in for there. I've worn this shirt once. I take I was, it was brand new. I wore it once. And I can't wear it again because it is way too bright for me. Uh, you can kind of see. I might play out for a video in the future. You know what? Here's the deal. If we hit 25 likes on this video, I will wear this shirt in a video. Uh, on to the next one. Another cool one here. Atletico Madrid long sleeve player issue jersey. 2017-18. Uh, and on the back, of course, the one and only. Anthony Griezmann, uh, and on the front, I can show you now as well, we have the player spec on the inside, uh, the one and only Griezmann, um, how good of a player he was, he still is, uh, definitely one of my favourite players and great goal scorer. I do wear this shirt every now and then, it's one I just like to wear, the colour you can never go wrong, and I love the pink aspects of it as well, the pink Griezmann seven on the back, beautiful shirt, yeah this is definitely one I will never let go of. On to the next shirt in my collection. I believe this was from the 03 or 02 season in Madrid. Um, got the blue, the light blue, kind of like the aqua colour going through it. With the orange stripes going through it. Nothing on the back, which would have been a gem if we had like Kaka or Ronaldo on the back, on the back of that. But on to our first genuine banger, like genuine banger now. This one uh, we had for about oh, a month and a half, two months now. It is the original Barcelona, what year is this one from? This one must be from 04, I can't remember. With the one and only Messi on the back. Messi number 19 for that matter. Before he went to 10, um, this is place like as well. Uh, this is a beautiful jersey. Uh, I would never let go of this one. Um, I just don't know the rough value of it at all. It'd be between 300 to $300 for this one or upwards. Size small, which is the only thing, so I won't be wearing it anytime soon. This one, I have, uh, as you can very much tell, I've smashed it. This is a beast for me. Uh, 2016 17 in Madrid, I believe. The badge is meant to be white. That's what I mean by wearing the sponsor too much, it just goes. Uh, luckily, that has a stitch in. This is a shirt I wear running, I wear it in the gym. Uh, I, wear, I used to wear it everywhere. I haven't worn it in quite a while just because of how fresh it is. Probably let you go this one. Uh, the next time we do a jersey update, we won't be in the collection anymore. But cool shirt, it's just yeah, pretty damaged. On to another banger now. Um, got another Barcelona shirt from the early 2000s, and none other than on the back, Brazilian king Ronaldinho. Uh, he's actually coming to Australia soon, so might be able to see him play again. I actually don't want to damage it anymore, so that one's just going to sit on the hanger and collect dust for a bit, but definitely a beautiful shirt to have for collection. Uh, another shirt I always love wearing tra uh, to training. As you guys can kind of tell, you're getting the sense now, I love my long sleeves. This is a long sleeve Barcelona shirt from 2018, 19. Uh, you can see the likes of Neymar wearing this one sort of stuff. 
Beautiful shirt, uh, long sleeve, as always. Nothing on the back, just a blank shirt. But a very cool one to have in the collection. Another cool one I have, uh, this 2007-08 Barcelona blue shirt, um, blue shirt, I mean away shirt. Cool one to have with the UNICEF sponsor on the front as well. Size extra large, you don't really see this one around too often. They used to be very popular with the collar and stuff, but um, yeah, you don't really see them around too often anymore, but definitely a cool shirt to have. Our first jacket of the video, this, from memory, this is 2003, 2004, Barcelona Nike, kind of like a, I want to say a Barcy jacket to have the buttons, but there's a nice little dip up there. Old school Barcelona fly, uh, fly badge there. And then a football classic on the inside, Nike sponsor. On the back, it's nothing but, yeah, pretty cool jacket. I've only had this for about a month now. I am yet to wear it. It's just so hot here in Australia. You never really have a chance to wear something like this, but definitely a cool one to have. Let me know what you guys think about this one in the comments because I don't know how I feel about it yet, but definitely a cool one to have for now. All right, onto another banger. Um, obviously, another early 2000s uh, Barcelona shirt here. And on the back, none other than Messi 19 yet again. So we had the orange version, uh, now we got the, the, the red and blue version. This, I, I'm gonna admit, this is a reprint sponsor on the sleeve that I just wanted to have the sponsor on the sleeves. Um, that's not the original one. Cool jersey, cool name to it, I haven't worn this one yet. And not going to wear it, I just want this one to collect us and just go up in value. Cool shirt, it's just, uh, yeah. I'm scared to wear it, I'm, honest, I'm very scared to wear that one. Another one I do wear pretty often now is this Barcelona. Oh no, this is a different one. I don't wear this one at all. I haven't worn it yet. Still brand new tags. On the back, none other than Messi again. I have quite a few Messi shirts. Um, yeah, cool jersey. Uh, I don't want to wear this one. Can I keep it value? Just going to keep it brand new tags. Yeah, originally paid 81 euro for this. So yeah, it's already worth more than that. It's about six years old now. Maybe a bit longer. Uh, cool shirt to have, play spec as well, you can tell by the sleeves. But yeah, nothing really, really much, too much to say about it. Just a baggy jersey because I had Messi on the back, to be fair. Uh, one I've had in my collection for a long time now is this Madrid car car shirt. Um, yet again, reprinted. Uh, nice shirt, just, yeah, I think this is one I don't know how long it's been in my collection for. It's definitely been a few years. Um, yeah, nice shirt. You've got to have a car car shirt. Everyone's got to have a car car shirt. Uh, great player, but you can kind of see the... When you don't look after your shirt, when I first got this one, you can kind of see the numbers actually getting mouldy. Um, hence why I don't wear it anymore. Uh, when you just let it get wet, too wet and it kind of just sits there, it gets mouldy. So that's my bad looking after this one. But beautiful shirt. Uh, don't plan to let go of it anytime soon. I'm going to try to go a little bit faster now because I don't want this video to drag on. I don't want you guys to get bored at home. So if you're watching, if you're still watching, it really means a lot. We have only got a half way to go now. I promise you we're gonna go a lot faster now and try to fly through a bit more. But yeah, stay tuned because there is some bangers on the way. Alright, next one now, which is the one I thought of gonna be before. Barcelona again, same as the Messi one, but with Alexis Sanchez on the back. If you know, you know. Uh, banger of baller, uh, great shirt. I wear this one every now and again. The only thing is it was a factory fault, the Barcelona badge is slightly silted. So it looks like a fake, but it's not a fake. Yeah, first time that happened. Of course, that happens when I buy the shirt. <clears throat> Another shirt now, the 2003, I believe, T90 PSG, or 2005, uh, PSG Nike. Beautiful shirt, went back in with that PSG. Yeah, a gem. Nothing too much to say about it. It's kind of hard to wear because of the neck's really strange. It's a very wide neck, but still a cool one to have. <clears throat> Oh yeah, we kind of just the uh, league one now. Uh, obviously got another PSG one now. On the back, one of the Messi 30. I got this one when he first moved to Paris, uh, just because it's gonna be a bit of a collector's item for me now. Have a Barcelona one brand new, now I have a Paris one brand new. Might as well just cut, you can't see where I'm going with that one. <clears throat> this one now, a bit of a story behind it. It is a 1999-2000 Marseille player issue jacket. It's only given to the players and staff. Uh, very much a gem. I got this one from a market. I went there, I saw you had it, I was like, how much do you want for it? I paid 150 Australia for it. It is a gem, probably worth about $300. Don't want to sell it, I, I always wear this one. This is a beautiful jacket to wear. You'll probably see me, I'll probably wear this one on Instagram. 
far as well as the videos, this is a gem and you're going to be seeing me wearing this one in the future definitely as well. The only problem with it, small mark in the Marseille, in a big Marseille there. Doesn't really damage it too much. Next one now, a player issue jersey again from the 2018 19 season. Would not over then Neymar Jr. on the back. The prince who never became king, pretty much. Uh, beautiful jersey, beautiful player. Nothing too much to say about it, it kind of speaks for itself. This one now, I've only had it for about a week and I've already worn it for about 10 times. Uh, obviously, the long sleeve player issue cracked in your man train top. Uh, with the Jordan sponsor on the back, oh sorry, on the front there, and a nice sponsor on the back. Yeah, cool, I love the pink sleeves, love the white, cool one to wear while running, and cool one to wear while playing football. Now, on to my favorite, one of my favorite sections, the Premier League section. This one, United, 20, United 2022, I think. Uh, just a white jersey, this was a gift from my grandma. Um, back in the UK, she sent it across from the stadium. Cool shirts to have, we'll never let go of this one. Uh, like I said, I never let go of jerseys like guys gives. This one, early 2000s United, the United jersey with the play spec with the favorite play on it as well from the Umbro. Cool jersey, no one on the back, but it's a nice little jersey to wear, just a little bit small for me now. Sadly, could be buying some players with this one soon, but I just, I love it so much that it's hard to buy players with it. Just when the shirts are getting a bit too small for me, I'd rather sell them buy a new one, pretty much. <coughs> Right, this is where the controversy starts because I, I, I am a United fan, but hear me out. I love collecting old shirts and I, some of you will know what these shirts are straight away. Just by seeing them, as being a collector, as being a huge jersey fan, as having a jersey store, I come across shirts that I can't let go because how nice they are. I'm never going to wear them and I never have worn them. These are Manchester City jerseys from the late 80s and 90s. This one from uh, Leave 9192. Uh, long sleeve as well on the old Harbour Race one, so this is a sick jersey. Not going to be too much about it because it's just Man City jerseys. This one, uh, 99, no, sorry, 98, I believe. Uh, signed by, oh, I forgot the player there, but the signed by three players there. It's the original one that they've, they've remade for this season now. Cool jersey, would never wear it. These two, you get both really good jerseys, we never wear them. Uh, 88 and 89, or 1988, 1990, around there for these two jerseys. I kind of like the just red and black. That's why I like it so much, I'm not a City fan. So there's no blue on it, but the red and black kind of like United colours, so. Only reason why I have these two in the collection, I will never have a little pusher in my collection though. That's one thing you've never seen me have. Alright, on to the best part of the video, the United stuff. Of course, we're going to have a T9 jersey in there as well. The United 05 jersey. The Barclays sponsor slightly peeling there. I'll only get that fixed soon. Beautiful jersey in the blue, as always. You're going to see me wearing this one in a few videos as well. Yeah, gem with the old Vodafone sponsor on the front as well. These next two are going to be from the exact same year, the one I'm wearing now. We've got the long sleeve white, and we've got the, the white and black. Both of them blank on the back. Cool shirts. I wear this one. Long sleeve, where I'm running, where I'm playing football. Cool shirt they have, and this one definitely had its love given it to him. It definitely wore this one quite a bit. Definitely wore this one quite a bit. Cool jersey to have. Uh, yeah, I wear it every now and then. One of my favorite jerseys, one of my oldest United shirt I have, is this one from 98, I believe it is. Not 98, maybe 98 away. Uh, cool shirt to have, love the central logo, love all the central stuff. Umbrella sponsor, nothing on the back. The Nano stuff always bangs. This one as well, um, I don't know why I have this. Cool shirt, I love this like zebra print. Gives me like Pogba or Rashford vibes. Uh, XL, so I have also quite a bit. And I do, I, I won't sell this one, it's just cool to have. Uh, I wanted to get Rashford on the back, but I haven't yet. Yeah, definitely a different one. Definitely a strange shirt when you're not brought it out, but an iconic shirt I think for the future. On to the final section now, the international section. There's a few bangers in this. Let's get into it. First one we have is a 2001-2003 England Beckham shirt. You know, Beckham fan, have to have some Beckham jerseys in my collection. This one, the Tom Bias, uh, this was the 2024 version, uh, DT38 The Foundation. If you don't know what it is, go look it up for yourself as well. 
great foundation. They was one for the Australia game. Um, yeah, but, oh, with the subway sponsor on the front there as well. Sadly passed away at a young age, professional footballer. Uh, Australian playing for West Ham. Yeah, cool show they have in the collection. Definitely a collector's item that one there. <clears throat> uh, 1999, I believe, 2000s England uh, home shirt. Cool one, play, play spec as well with a paper tech. Nothing on the back. England, has to be an England fan. Gonna have some English shirts in the collection. This one now, the No Room for Racism, black on white. Netherlands with Hart and Robin on the back. What a baller he was. If you know, you know. T90 as well. Absolute gem. This one is probably, oh, I say like, small probably the oldest shirt I have in the collection. I think it's 1981, 19, like, late 1970s, 80s. England long sleeve shirt uh, with a 21 on the back of it, it's slightly peeling. I'm gonna get this one in a, uh, a sleeve soon so I don't get it damaged. Only had it for about two months now. I have no idea what the value is, so someone in the comments, let me know please because this is a gem and at the right price, I might let it go. Alright, so the next shirt in my collection is gonna be one of my personal favourites, if not my holy grail of all football shirts. That is the early 2000s Portugal T90 number 17, the one and only Cristiano Ronaldo on the back. Um, I've worn this one once and I'm never going to wear it again. Uh, this is just going to sit on the hanger for the rest of his life. It's definitely a masterpiece of a jersey. Um, beautiful with all of that the offensive names on the back as well. Slight cracking in the neck just because of the age. But a beautiful shirt on that T90 material. What a banger! All right, for the next one, for the next one now we have the home and away um, shirts of Germany. Early 90s, you have got the wide one, and then you got the bring one. Obviously on the sleeves, there's no seam going through, so it's just one seam, one cut all the way through to the sleeves on both sides. One of the most fake jerseys in the world, but obviously you can see why. It's one of the most beautiful shirts in the world. The green one, and then we also have the white one as well. Obviously, you can see no seam there as well. Nothing on the back of either of them, um, but two beautiful shirts. Yeah, uh, don't think I'll ever be selling these two either. Or maybe the maybe the comments today where someone offers me some, some good money for them. Uh, we might have part ways for the set, but these two are beautiful. On the form of Germany, we have this gem as well. It's from the '98 World Cup, I believe, somewhere around there. Obviously got the nice thick collar there as well. Germany badge hits centre in the middle. Um, the football uh, sign there. I thought my German, German is terrible. Obviously got the badge at the bottom there. The collar is beautiful. Seamless on the sleeve yet again for the next design. Beautiful arms there. And on the back, obviously the fat Germany badge there. Just a nice silhouette for a jersey. Yeah, another one. Don't think I'll be part of with anytime soon. I think there's only one in one match. Um, I'm not sure why I didn't get played more than that, but yeah, definitely a beautiful jersey to have in my collection. It wouldn't be a collection without a Brazil shirt. So this Brazil shirt is from the early to late 90s, um, number 10 on the back. If you don't know who number 10 is, I'm not gonna tell you, you should know. You're not a footballer. If you don't know who number 10, in the 90s for Brazil was. Anyway, it's a beautiful shirt. Before they have any stars, cotton feel to it as well. Um, this one is a size, I'm not too sure. There's no size on it. I've never actually worn this shirt. Um, I don't know, I don't know what year it's, it's exactly from. It's a beautiful shirt. Put the stitch on number on the back. Um, I don't know, I just don't really like wearing yellow too much, but it's a nice looking shirt anyway. Value is quite expensive for this one. I think you're looking at 400 pounds, 400 shot Australian dollars on this one. Yeah, cool shirt, just not something I wear every now and then. On to the next one now. This one, I can say I have worn. Beautiful shirt. I just don't, the only thing I like about it is the V on the front there. It's the Italian, number 10. Obviously, Totti on the back. One of the most uh, loyal players there is in, was in world football. Uh, great player. It's just the only annoying thing, like I say, is that V there. It kind of feels like it's down here, even though it's got the collar free off. It does feel a little bit weird when you're wearing it. It's that nice play stack material as well from the early 2000s, I think from 03 from memory. This one is running a size, size small, but it does obviously fit the 
bit of it bigger. Uh, obviously love the font on the back here with the gold over the navy blue numbers and then obviously the, on the stripe on the names are there as well. Beautiful shirt. Alright, this one I probably have worn in a video. You guys might have seen this one already. It's the Argentine Argentine. I can't space it out. Sorry. Probably seen this one a few times now. It is the Argentina tribute. From when they won the World Cup, they made the tribute to Maradona. They made this shirt, number 10. Um, yeah, obviously Messi wears 10, uh, wears 10 now, but Maradona used to wear 10 for the 90s, and this is obviously a tribute shirt to him. I do wear this shirt quite a bit. Nice shirt. It's a modern one, so I don't mind thrashing it. Um, but for some reason, the condition of this one is nuts. It's still in great condition, and I've worn it more than a handful of times. Yes, yeah, it's a lucky jersey. I don't think I'll ever sell this one. The next one, you have definitely seen me wearing before. I've worn it in a Thailand video, I've worn it in maybe two or three different videos now. This is my 96, 94-96 Brazil shirt um, with Romario on the back. This is the away strip, it's not the yellow one. Um, I love this shirt. I don't actually mind thrashing the shirt, but when I do wear it, I take good care of it. Um, hand wash this one because you don't. That name set is off, it's slightly peeling there. They might have to put the, put the press on that as well, but um, beautiful shirt. Everyone, if you're a baller, you know who Romario is. Absolute baller. He played for Flamengo as well, pretty good there. Uh, great shirt. Another key bring in my collection is this late 90s England home shirt. Um, the button's slowly falling off there. Uh, I always wear this one for the World Cup time, for Euros. Seems on the sleeve again, they got one seam there, but apart from that, there's none at all. The nice, thick central logo. The central logo stuff always is nice. Uh, nothing on the back. Um, just a nice, simple silhouette for this one. Obviously, got the official ombre down the bottom right there, and all the correct tags. A little England flag there for that nice little detail. You can kind of see the collar a bit faded already, but still a cool shirt, nevertheless. This is the Brazilian foam shirt. Um, what use this one? 2000 maybe with a thick collar. Got the original Nike tag on there as well, and on the back, none other than the original R9 Ronaldo. Um, yeah, obviously seamless on the sleeves again, no cuts there. Beautiful shirt. I did buy it in this condition, so it's not in the best condition, but we got it for a good price, and it's just going to sit in my collection for the longest time. I think this one and the um, this one and the Portuguese T90 Ronaldo. Don't think I'll ever part ways with these two. This is a beautiful shirt. I probably got about five or six jerseys left, maybe a bit more. This next one, not really a jersey, more of a track jacket. Early 2000s England tracker, trap jacket. I'm really sorry, I cannot speak today. Um, pretty plain, pretty simple. I think it's early 2000s, 2001, 2002. Uh, nice jacket. Nothing really special to it, just nice to have in the collection. This next one is a bit of a cool one, a bit of a story behind it as well. So now we have the Japanese special edition anime one. As you can see on the back here, the number 10, all the anime characters are printed in with the Japanese text for the player. This was the captain in 2018. Um, I can't remember why exactly they did this tribute, but nevertheless, a beautiful shirt. Obviously on the front logo there, the number 10 there. All anime characters. I got this one from the same person I got the... This one from... Um, yeah, I got it with a bit of a bundle deal. Two cool shirts. I don't know which one I prefer, but this one's a really cool one. I do wear it from time to time. I just don't like to fresh it at all, so probably wear it once a month, but still a cool, very cool piece to have in the collection. And my only Japan shirt in the collection, which is definitely the first time. This next one now is one of the most rarest jerseys in my collection. And I don't know if I've ever come across another one in my life. It is the Australian, I believe 2001, 2002, that era around there. Um, yeah, it's a red shirt. You always see a shirt wearing the yellow, the green, the obvious colours. Never a red. Uh, so this is the red shirt. It's in amazing condition for its age. Like I say, one of the rarest shirts in my collection. Never worn it. Um, I don't think I'm ever going to wear it, but maybe there's one day where I come to sell this one to a collector. But before that, it's staying in my collection. And it's, I don't think this, I don't think I'll sell it. Let me know what you guys think of the red shirt in the comments below. But Definitely something a bit different. All right, next shirt is a definitely a special one to me. Uh, the Netherlands Van Nistelrooy on the back, United legend. He's now also back United in the team, uh, not in the team, in the, in the team technically, the um, kind of the assistant coach there. 
Uh, beautiful jersey. This is a, this is actually the jersey I wore in one of my first viral videos over on Instagram Reels. So if you haven't seen that, go check out Fur Tree on Instagram right now. That's pretty much the big name for the business of where well, I sell all these shirts. So yeah, this is a beautiful shirt. The first video that I posted, I think got a million views maybe wearing this shirt. Yeah, I can't sell this one after that one. This is definitely an iconic shirt to me. And with a beautiful name shirt on the back as well. All right, this one I kind of forgot I had in my collection. It is the oh, 2016, I'm gonna go with 2018, 16, right like that. Uh, England blue shirt. This was a very controversial shirt at the time when it came out. Not a lot of people actually really liked it. I don't think they actually ever wore this shirt either. And on the back, obviously Raheem Sterling, number seven at the time. Uh, I believe Saka is now. But yeah, what a baller he is. Um, I wish he came to United. But yeah, still a nice, beautiful shirt. I wore it a handful of times. Kind of forgot I had it until I went, got all the shirts out for this video. But it's cool to see this one in person again. Yeah, you might see me wearing this one in future videos. Alright, the next one now, it was definitely a beater at the time. Now it's more just a uh, collector's piece. This is the long sleeve Portuguese number seven shirt with Figo on the back. You can definitely see I've given it some worn. The number's coming off very much so. When I first got this jersey about three years ago, I thrashed it. I didn't think twice about wearing it everywhere I went because it was just such a nice jersey. Onto a shirt you definitely have seen me wear, which is my favorite shirt, or one of my favorite shirts in my whole collection. This France limited edition shirt with the silicone um, badging on there. Uh, this is, I, I love this shirt. I don't know why I love this shirt. I just love this shirt. With the player spec material, white with a nice little blue embroidery all over the little towns, trees. Beautiful shirt uh, on the back print as well. I just like it because I don't see anyone else wearing it. I think the day I see someone else wearing it, I won't wear it as much. I don't know why, but this shirt just like has a special place for me. Like, it's just a very nice shirt. All right, final two shirts now. Another shirt. I don't know if you see me wear it or not. This Portuguese number ten, Roy Costa. As you can see again, original name set, but it is peeling. Slight cracking on both the Fair Play sponsor and the U. I think it was the UF. You wait for the logo there. Um, beautiful shirt again. I don't like the v -necks. I think you know it's in a bit of a trend. I don't like the v -necks, but it's still a cool shirt in general. I think next time you see this on like the next update for the uh, for the jersey collection, this may not be in this in the series, but still a cool shirt to have. It's just um, I just I don't really like that where it's peeling anymore. All right, on to the final shirt in this like this part now. This is just my main collection, this is the one that I wear. This one I've never worn before, just because of the one reason I'll show you in a second. This one is the 2005-2006, uh, England home shirt, obviously the red. We have obviously the one and only Beckham on the back of there as well. Beautiful shirt, um, but the only problem is I've put it through a wash once. Um, it's because this, this slightly small, small I don't know I bought it. You see, you see there's one there, a few smaller ones down there. On the back, the name said it's peeling. And I've, I've ordered a heat press so I can fix it soon, but yeah, that, I just don't want to wear it. Just don't want to make it any worse, but cool shirt to have in my collection, and I, one day I will wear it again. It means so much to me. Smash that like button down below. We're almost at 800 subscribers at the time of filming this video. I think we're at 791, maybe 90. Um, but thank you so much for all the new subscribers out there. Uh, I love making these videos. So, Keep tuning, subscribe, there's going to be plenty more content on the way. But yeah, on to the next section. Alright, so behind me right now, we have about 300 football shirts. I'm not going to waste your time, I'm not going to go through them individually. So if you guys want to see what they are, uh, they're available on the screen right now from my website. Uh, free shipping over $100, doesn't matter where you are in the world. If it's internationally from out of Australia, over $250. But we have some absolutely bangers, just for example, uh, pulling out an AC Milan training top here. Another example, just put it shelf for shelf. United on the back, Berbatov, absolute baller. Um, so you've got so many shows to go through, but I'm not gonna waste your time and go through them all. But yeah, if you guys do wanna see that, obviously shop from the website in the description. All right guys, thank you so much for watching the video. I know it's a bit of a different one to what we usually get with. Um, definitely more football related content on the way. As I said before, if you guys want this jersey for absolutely free, all you gotta do is subscribe to the channel, like this video, and that's all you gotta do. And comment your favorite team, your favorite football team, who you support, and I'll be picking one of you in the, probably next week's video. 
Um, to give the show to it absolutely free. So if you live anywhere in the world, you could be having this for free. Big girl, I hope you guys did enjoy today's video. It is my full-time goal to actually make videos for you guys. Three or four videos a week as a full-time job. I obviously love running this store. It would be something I would be doing on the side, but I do love making YouTube videos. It's my passion. Since I was about six to eight years old, making YouTube videos has always been there. I've been filming videos, filming content. So one day, this dream will probably be a reality. Fingers crossed. But yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care and peace.